Hi everyone, I hope that you're all well and staying safe. Um, just put a video together because I've had quite a few messages from students asking about things that they can do while they're at home, um, training by themselves. So here's just a few drills that I hope can help you out. Okay, so the first throw we're going to look at is Taitoshi. And I've just placed the bell in a straight line, okay, in front of me. Um, what I'm going to look at, first of all, is making sure that I'm the right distance away. Okay, I don't want to be standing too close to the belt because now I don't give myself enough room to do the movements. So I want to be a little bit further away, maybe arms, arms length apart. And what I'm going to look at, first of all, is leading with my right leg, okay, because my right arm would be the one taking the collar, taking the back of the head, the underhook, the overhook, and so on, okay. My right leg is going to step forward onto the line. My left foot is the one that's going to be making the back step. Okay. Now, I want that foot to also go to the line. Okay, so we're making this motion. I would start by drilling that first part first. So right, left, then back off again. Okay, so you've got like a, a two step. Okay, so you're going to be going one, two, and back off. The next part is the rotation. Okay, so this is where it can get a little bit more tricky, especially when you're doing it slower. So don't worry if you're a little bit off balance at the start. It, it, once you're doing it all together, it will definitely feel a lot more comfortable. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, then the rotations this far, and then finally the leg's going to shoot out. This would be the tripping part. Okay, now I'm going to face the camera just so you can see the position you want to be finishing in, and it's ball of the foot, okay, on the tripping leg. We don't want to go flat foot, okay? We want the toes, the ball of the foot, and the heel high. You want to be in a position here so that you're more centered and try not to be leaning over one way or the other. So a way to tell if you're quite centered is quite simply, can you lift up both feet? If I'm too far over this side, I can't lift this leg, okay? So we just want to try and find that center. Now we can work slow to begin with. We can literally work our own pace. One, two, rotate, foot on the line. Now, the arms need to be working as well. So what do they do? As I'm making that first step, arms are pulling in towards me, okay? You don't want low grips, you want high. Nice high pull. As I'm making the pull, my back step goes in, okay? So I'm on that two step, one, two. Back out, one, two. Then the rotation, and then the foot drops out. Now the reason I put the belt in the line is so that all, all the feet, all my steps should be on that line throughout, okay? Step one, on the line. Step two, on the line. Step three, on the line, okay? So from here, one, two, three, into that position. And back out. Always starting from that arm's length away. One, two, turn, foot on the line. Remember the ball of the foot, and then rotate. Make sure as well that your knee's slightly bent. You don't want the straight leg. Slightly bent, okay? I'll do one a little bit quicker for you. So from here, look, you can really start to drill it. In and out, okay? Make sure your head's not following your arm. This one. For this one, I've folded the belt in two. They just made a V shape. Now, the reason for this is with your Osoto Gary, you never want to be going directly forward. We always want to be stepping off at that diagonal. So I've made like a template to follow. So here's how it's going to work. I've got my grips again, head and arm grip, and my right foot is going to start right at the bottom part of the V. Okay. From here, look, my left foot is going to follow up the outside, that same shape, so I'm stepping off. Big step. Now, my weight is going to go onto this leg. Now, as I um, start doing this a bit quicker, you'll notice that I don't leave this leg behind. It actually comes with me. But we always have to make room for 
the person, your training partner's leg. Okay? So in this case, if I was to step straight forward, I'd actually be stepping through my partner. So I want to follow the shape of the belt. So as I make my step across, my foot look is going to trace the outline of that, that V there. Okay? Now, at this point, when I've traced around it, because I don't have the resistance of a partner, I'm just going to practice the emphasis on my sweeping motion. So I'm going to be placing my hands to the floor and doing a little kick up in the air. Okay? Just so I can practice a real high sweep. Now, with this V look, right foot forward, left steps off to that angle, trace the outline, sweep, hands down, touch, and back again. Okay, so each time, reset, right foot forward, left foot steps over, weight onto this leg, making the outside step, hook, down, and back out. I'll do a few for you, fast motions. One, sweep, and back. One, step and cross. Remember the arms, keep them with you. Okay? Worst thing you do if I know so to Gary is push the person away. Okay, it's almost like I want to be pulling them into me. So I'm pulling them in, I'm stepping past, off at that diagonal, making a small circle behind the leg, and reaping the leg. Okay? One more time from here. One, two, circle, down, and back. Okay? So from here, stepping forwards, stepping off to that side, lean in, make the circle, hook, and down, and back. One, two, trace around, and down. Okay, next one we're going to do is Ogoshi. Made a horseshoe shape with my belt, so it trains my feet to stay closer together. If I have a straight line, they can tend to start coming a little bit wider. Now, I can make the belt come closer together, making it a bit more difficult after. So, exactly the same as what we did with Taitoshi, that same two step to start with from here, look. I'm moving that foot behind, inside of my belt. After I rotate this time, instead of sticking my leg out, I'm going to keep them together close and bend the knees. Okay, so you're going to get a good leg workout here as well. Okay, so from here, look, I'm going to go one, two, into this position. Now, a little tip is try not to have your heels on the floor like this. What happens is when you get the resistance of a partner and I'm moving through, my heels on the floor, I tend to get that off balance motion when I'm being pulled backwards. What I want to do is stay on the ball of my feet and almost to my base is forwards. So I get that leverage, so I'm not going to be pulled backwards, this position, and back out. Okay, so from here, look, spin, onto my toes, and back out. One, two, in, and back out. Now, if it's too easy, if it's too big, I simply just bring it closer together. Now, I don't want to touch the belt, I'm just going to go inside, feet together, and back out. Of course, you could change it to a, a dip on Sianagi, so that the lapel, stepping in deep, lifting high, rotating through, and this would be your shoulder throw, here look. From here, one, Ogoshi. Okay, so the next drill we're going to look at is for your Udi Garamis or Udi Gatami techniques, and it just improves your grip. Um, I'm using a short stick, this is known as a tambo, and what we're going to look at is that Udi Garami shape. So, I'm going to be taking hold of the top end of the stick, like this. I'm going to be placing it underneath my arm, wrapping around, coming inside, and taking hold of the wrist. You'll, you'll recognise the shape. Now, obviously this can be done on an arm that's this shape, this shape, and also straight, okay? What I'm looking to do when I'm making this shape is looking at all the gaps and trying to close them. So, a little tip that you can practice once you make the shape is simply rolling your wrists forwards. So, the hand that's on the stick, I'm going to roll forwards. The hand that's on my wrist, also will roll forwards. Now you're going to feel some pressure on your forearm, so don't, if it starts to hurt, okay, don't go too mad. And then also the clamp, the armpit. So we've got three motions, look, roll, roll, clamp. When you do this, you will feel that the stick doesn't move. 
And it's a great way to tighten up those submissions. Other side, over, around, wrap, roll the wrist one, wrist two, and clap. And we can start getting quicker at it. One, two, one, two, okay? So some examples where this could be used. I'm stood, bare hook comes round. That's, this would be the arm coming round. So by taking the wrist, over hooking, taking hold of my own wrist, there's your Udi Garami. Okay, so I could be turning out and applying the lock. Another great movement exercise to do that we can add on to that would be doing the Udi Garami from the guard. So I'm in a guard position and I've got the wrist control here, look. I can use my elbow to help myself sit up, scoot out, over the top, taking hold of the wrist, same position now, and obviously I'll be falling back, leg over, finishing from the bottom. To make it into a drill from here, look, I can start sitting up quicker, going over the top, lock it, and back down. Up, over, back down. So snapping into that position really fast. Obviously I can alternate now, going to the other side. One, two, three, 